I'm going to tell you about the broadcast app, and, and you can get to this app by you know going to the URL shown on the screen, and that'll open App Inventor with this app in it. Okay, the UI is very simple. You know, all we're trying to do is basically let people join this hub. So they they send the app a text to join, and the app builds a members list, and then any other text that those those people that have joined send in get broadcast to everybody. Okay, so the UI is simple. It'll just list all the members that join and then it will show all the messages that come in you know, before it broadcasts it. Okay? The real key thing you need to worry about here is with this texting component. So if you've got service on your phone or on the app that's going to run, or the phone that's going to run the app, you can just make this you know, Google Voice not enabled. Okay? That's the normal thing. But if you are just using Wi-Fi, you can put Google Voice, an app on your phone, and even if you don't have service, you know, you can still use texting and, and actually have this app run, run on your phone. So you just need to make sure you check this box. And then the other thing is just receive and enabled. So always, you'll, you'll always get the, the, the text comes in. Your app will always handle it. But you can also choose, you know, um, foreground. So only if your phone is in, in the foreground. And you can also set this to off so, so the app won't handle text at all. Okay, so those are kind of your, your choices. Okay, so let's look at the blocks. And I just, you know, this app already has all the code you need, so it, it, it already works. And you've got this members list, and of course it starts with the create empty list, because when the app starts, there's no members. Nobody has texted in to join yet. Okay. Um, then the you know key thing here is it's kind of you know fairly complex, you know, algorithm, right? There's there's an if else, and then within that if else there's an else if and another Okay, so here in, in English is kind of the algorithm. And, and basically, if the message comes in from a number already in the members list, right? So someone's already joined, what we want to do is, is stick the message into the log. So that's going to be, you know, on the designer you saw, we're going to show all the log, all the messages here. So that's what that's doing. And then we want to make sure we set this message uh, the texting dot message property to whatever was sent in, right? Because we need to broadcast this out. Okay, so we're setting the value of the text message property, and then the next thing is, okay, let's go through all the members. So here's the for each, right? And for each number in that list, we need to actually send the message to them. So this is the broadcast part here. Okay, so this is you know not going to be the first thing that happens when your app starts. Nobody's in the member list at all. Okay. So really what's going to happen are people, you know, they need to text in join hub first. So to kind of become a member, they've got to text join hub first, and that's where this elf comes, else comes in. Okay, so if the, the number coming in is the, the person who texted, that number is not in the list. Okay, let's go down and see, did, did they send the correct join message? And if they did, then we add them to the list, right, add the sender's phone number to the members list. And we go ahead and display them or the whole member list in our in our UI. Okay. Finally, this final else is, look, if if somebody sent a text to us, they're not a member yet, um, but their text is not join hub. We're just going to show an alert that you know we're you know basically ignoring it. We could we could also send a message back that says you know you you're you're sending a text to a to a hub, okay, or a broadcast hub, you know. Um, you need to join in this way, or we could, you know, maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we don't want people that don't know the the correct protocol to to be able to join. Okay. So anyway, you can do all kinds of different things with this app and make, you know, basically make the the whole policy different depending on what you want to do with it, how private you want this to be, um, how much feedback you want to give the text that comes in and send things things back. Um, but anyway, this is a nice basis for you to start with, and in the in the next uh, you know your next your next task is there's some enhancements to do, and you're going to do 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 a couple things. One one you're going to do is make it so the the list of members is persistent. Okay, so you'll stick when when someone joins. So so say I close this app and reopen it, I want to keep the members that have already joined, and and that 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 completely completely makes sense also do a couple interesting things like right now when someone sends a text in to be broadcast um, we basically send it to everybody in the list including the people that sent it so you know th that's fine but probably if I send 
a message that I want broadcast to everybody, I probably don't want to get that message back myself. Okay, it's arguable. Maybe maybe if I get it back, I know it it got broadcast. But um, anyway, in the in the enhancements, one thing you'll do is is use an if statement to make make sure that doesn't happen.